Pokemon white? Pokemon black? Hey you, stick in the mud, look over here. The whole world wants to see your pretty little face. Welcome to Super Skarmory's Pokemon Black and White Walkthrough. It is so great to be filming another walkthrough because I haven't filmed in like three months. Um, uh, anyways, welcome. Uh, before I start, I have a few things to talk about. Uh, one, um, normally Pokemon games are kind of ruined for me when I cover them because I always play them in advance and blah 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 so this time i'm trying a little bit different of a strategy and i am playing the game separately on my own copy of black i bought both of them and i'll get to that in a second uh so i will be covering the game on uh, a copy of pokemon white but any stuff that is different between versions i will try to cover maybe like the legendary uh God knows how to pronounce those names. I am horrible <laughs> with uh, fifth generation names, so um, I'm going to be making fun of myself a lot for how horrible I am at names. Anyways, um, I'm trying uh, something a little new with this walkthrough. Uh, another cool thing about having both copies of the game is I'm going to do a little contest. So, the way it's going to work is every video comment on a video as you normally do, give it a thumbs up, uh, favorite it, do all that good stuff, and a random number generator after two or three days after the video's been up, I will do a random drawing and I will pick one person, one lucky winner, on every single part of the walkthrough who uh, will be put into a drawing at the very end of the walkthrough. Now at the very end of the walkthrough, out of all the winners of each part, one lucky person will get the copy of Pokemon White that I used to film the walkthrough. I could sign it, autograph it, do whatever you want. Um, it's just a little contest. Also, if you do win individual parts, I may throw in some extra little rewards, like I'll draw from every 10 names. I don't have a ton. I, I can't really give away stuff, so I might do Wi-Fi battles again just to give as a, an award. I don't know. Um, but we'll see how that goes as soon as the walkthrough begins. But anyways, that includes this part. So, uh, without further ado, I think it's time to enter the new region of who knows. <laughs> uh, welcome to the world of Pokemon. What is this? It's a female professor. Oh my goodness. I never thought I'd see the day. I want my old man Oak back. Uh... Professor Shinoop. <laughs> yeah, I'm so bad at names. This is gonna be such a fun walk there. <laughs> uh, as any good old Pokemon game, you have your intro scene with the professor with the dance and Pokemon. I swear that thing is just. What, what is that move there? It's like. Wee! I'm 
Hi. I'm gonna research Pokemon and blah 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 blah. Are you a boy or a girl? I don't know. I think I'm a boy. Last time I checked. My name. Gee, I wonder. Uh, I'm gonna go with Skarm uh, for this. Because that's what I always go as. I actually used to go by my real name, but fun fact, I've never sent my real name in a, any of my videos. I have no idea why. Yes, that's my name. I know, it's a very wonderful name. I actually hate it. My username <laughs> is the best thing I could come up with three and a half years ago. Anyways, uh, you're going to be introduced to your two rivals, Charon and Bianca. Uh, and then there's, of course, you. You can't name your rivals in this game, which makes me want to shoot a cute little kitten, because I hate that. I want to be able to nickname my rivals. I want to name them question mark, question mark, question mark. Because I'm sure that's how ditzy the one girl is. Well, shall we begin? Uh, just a little uh, brief note. The seasons. Black and white has seasons in this game. Now it alters every month. So uh, obviously I'm filming this in March. So we start off in autumn. Uh, and then obviously April be, will be winter and it loops throughout the year between the four seasons. The seasons do affect the world around you. It can affect encounter rates and areas that you can access. Anyways, well, this is kind of bombardment since when do you start in your room when there's other people in a Pokemon game? Uh, this is a walkthrough, but keep in mind I am still kind of learning the game. Also, uh, this is also going to be kind of a review, like a review of the game, because I'm kind of psyched to see all the new changes in fifth generation. When I first saw it, honestly, my first impression was, oh my goodness, the new Pokemon looked awful. And my impression of that still kind of remains the same. But the overall game from what I've played so far is very impressive. Anyways, hey look, a present. For me, how kind. I brought three Pokemon, one for each of you. Pick. All right, your three starters. They consist of Tepig, the fire type. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing these right, so uh, bear with me throughout this entire walkthrough. You do not have to bother uh, telling me I'm mispronouncing things. You could just laugh at me instead. Uh, we have the grass type Snivy and the water type Oshawott. Uh, first impressions of the three stars. Doesn't that thing look awesome? That's one of the few Pokemon in this game that I actually think looks cool. Tepig. Oh my goodness. Quit ripping off Torchic. The monkey was at least cool with Chimchar, but I can't stand the fire star in this game. It's so, ugh. And then Oshawa, I think its first form looks ridiculously stupid, but as it evolves to its final form, I actually think its final form is really cool. Um, for the walkthrough, I'm going with Snivy, and I am going to stick with the uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver idea that I did where I named uh, my team after uh, some of my close friends who've been helping me out all these years, so I'm going to follow that theme with Another group of people. Uh, we'll get to the nicknames in a bit, though. Anyways, we're, we're, we're in my house, you fool. No, we're not battling. What, what is wrong with you? I value my house. I worked so hard to have parents who buy everything from me. Battle number one. Bianca. They start off early in this game. Um, anyways, here's the new battle interface. I kind of think the Pokeball looks weird there. Uh, anyways, depending on your starter, you're going to face one of three Pokemon. Uh, no matter what, uh, you fight both of your rivals at this point, and they 
depending on what they use, they'll use the same thing despite which one's using it because obviously these are all the stars that you have to choose from. In this mix is also your own Pokemon. Uh, obviously Snivy is level 5, Grass type, Overgrow. Uh, it moves, uses Tackle and Weir. Um, Tepig is fire type, also level 5, has the blaze ability, it's attacks or tackle and tail whip. And your last choice would be Oshawott, level 5, water type, abilities torrent, it has the moves tackle and tail whip. Uh, of the three, uh, Snivy as a starter has the best defensive and special defensive stats as well as the fastest speed which is a weird combination but okay I'll go with it uh, Tepig is the opposite best attack and special attack also has the best uh, hit point values Oshawa is the most balanced of the three if you beat the trainers you get 500 bucks and you wreck the room and you also get the experience. I'm, to my knowledge, you don't have to win these battles, uh, but if you just tackle away, you shouldn't lose. Tackle, to, I believe, now has 50 power and 100% accuracy. They kind of reworked some of the moves. So it's kind of interesting seeing the whole generation shift. Anyway, Charon's gonna heal your Pokemon up and then you're gonna battle him. Uh, Bianca, if you didn't pick up on it, uses the Pokemon that you are weak to, so if you are, she's weak to you, your starter, so if you chose Snivy, she's going to use a water type. Uh, Charon's the opposite, he's going to use the one that you're weak to, uh, so whenever you're ready to battle him, woohoo! Again, he uses either Oshawott, Snivy, or Tepig, whichever one you're weak to. Um, Aside from that, there isn't really much more to say about these three. Uh, they evolve at level 17 and 36, if my memory serves me correctly. Again, I am still learning this game, so I apologize if I'm a little bit inaccurate at times. I will try to add stuff to the video description if I make any mistakes. Um, hopefully as the walkthrough goes on, I'll be learning the games myself. I just wanted to play this game on my own alongside the walkthrough for a change because I always spoil the game and I didn't want to spoil it this time. The only thing I really spoiled was the Pokemon that I all think look ridiculously stupid. Uh, and unfortunately this region of Unova, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, unfortunately all the Pokemon our fifth generation Pokemon. You can't really catch anything until after game uh, that is not a part of this region, which I really hate that fact. Um, which kind of means you are stuck with fifth generation Pokemon, so I hope you like them. Uh, once you beat both your rivals, again, you should get up to level six. You should be able to beat them both. Even if you have no clue what you're doing, just use Tackle. They'll waste time with Leer and Tail Whip, and then you should be able to win. Uh, in the game I'm playing alongside with, I used Oshawott, so we'll see what I end up using in that. Because I probably will use that copy of the game to show catching the Legendary exclusive. Anyways, thanks guys! I really appreciate you destroying my room. Honestly, how do footprints get on the wall? What are these Pokemon doing? My precious Nintendo Wii! How will I brawl if it gets destroyed? <sighs> Mom, I'm sorry. I destroyed my room. But I got a thousand bucks, it's okay. Uh, Janooper, Jajajagaga. <laughs> okay, well, this is gonna be fun. All the names in this game are so ridiculous. I, I hate it. Ugh. Anyway, mom, your mom's gonna be like, hey, don't worry about destroying your room. I'll clean it all up for you and you don't have to do a thing. And I wish my mom in real life was like that. That would be awesome. But unfortunately, life doesn't work that way. Uh, she's going to give you some transceiver, blah, 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 whatever. I didn't even read what it's called. Uh, that will allow you to make phone calls or something or other. 
Yay, the sun is shining, all is bright. Oh my goodness, get me the running shoes. I can't stand walking like this. Uh, you get the running shoes after the first city. Anyways, this is your hometown. I don't remember its name. <laughs> um, what is this place called again? Uh, here, we'll go look, at, look it up. Nuvema, I think? Yeah. Nuvema. The start of something big. Well, considering there's only three houses here, and it's the three houses of you and your two rivals, I mean, pretty sad. It's a very pitiful town. Why does a person that always goes on a Pokemon adventure and becomes champion of the region start in some small town? Why can't I start off in, like, some huge, crazy city that has, like, skyscrapers and stuff? Actually, I'm more of a country person rather than a city person, but that's beside the point. No, no, a thousand times no, how dare you. I don't want you going out on your own. There are shady crooks in this world. You need to stay at home. Helping your mother in the kitchen. Oh, that was a cruel joke. There goes all my female viewers. Uh, so after uh, you watch uh, go to both of their houses, you can head over to the lab. These Mardi Gras beads are loud and noisy. I don't even know why I'm wearing them. Someone gave them to me today. Oh well. Hey, let's go talk to the professor. Your rivals like are everywhere in the beginning of the, this game and it drives me nuts. Like, too much of them. Your name is, we already know. Wow, Charon's kind of a jerk. Why do I associate myself with these people? I forgot to change my settings to speed up the text. Uh, anyways, she's gonna give us... Oh wait, she's just checking out our Pokemon. Anyways, Pokemon! I promised him that I would give him a spot in this walkthrough as Snivy. Uh, his life is complete. Here it is. So anyway, she's gonna be like, yeah, Pokedex, I want you to be my slave and go see all the Pokemon in the world. All of them. Even the ones that don't exist in this version of the game. All of them. And then we're all gonna be like, yay, we're brainwashed to do this kind of stuff. Uh, flashy animation. She's gonna head out the route one, and then we're gonna all be like, "Hey, yeah, let's go. We can travel all around the world." Uh, on the bottom screen, uh, you'll have your Pokedex there, as well as your options. Change text speed to fast. Uh, battle scene on. Battle style shift. Sound stereo. Save before IR. Yeah, sure. Confirm. Uh, your trainer card's also down there. You also have your badge case, which, if I do say so myself, I think the badges look really stupid in this game. It's not like the traditional square style. It's more like this really thin rectangular badge, and it's really stupid. Your bag's down there, as well as your Pokemon. And with that said, I think there's nothing else here. So, off the route one we go.